Okay, you say something, but I don't know what it is. That's a response which I get every time I go on stage and then speech. <laughs> 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 it's not only because of my preaching, it's sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's so that uh, it's got very clear and specific that I ponder upon the thoughts of the more of my analytical nature and then when I give it out, I, I share more of. Uh, the thought and the wandering, I was not looking on the concentration and I haven't worked on the concentration principle which our previous speaker have talked about. So, good morning Merakis. Good, good morning. morning. How many of you have wandered and then looked upon of the each and every aspects of the way you speak, the way you act, where you are performing action to the closest of each and every minute detail. As, as few hands have never looked upon and then started pondering why I am I like this. Uh, right from childhood, I have been told in, uh, uh, by my relatives and then the conversation that uh, he's a silent guy, he will be there like uh, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he plays and then he yeah, always presents the silent aura. Uh, every time uh, uh, feel comfortable and then not make much of naughtiness. Even my wife was wondering that uh, when uh, my uh, wife asked my mom, uh, like in his childhood, he, uh, whether he was naughty or not, like uh, I just want to understand how Nishta will be before she born. <laughs> and uh, uh, and uh, to, to the fact, uh, she, every time she responds back saying, I'm uh, very silent, he is very, you know, obedient, uh, whichever he says he will be uh, uh, doing it. She, in fact, I remember she uh, uh, tucked my leg in a chair when we were in Tichangur, uh, for for me not to move from the place where she has to go out and then take water and to come back to the house. I have these incidents but then I never uh, put that naughtiness as the present nature of me and then I started believing that the silent nature is always there and uh, I started portraying the good character in me. And that's when uh, uh, it so ha happened that every time on stage, uh, have you been uh, prepared to the extent of what you are going to speak to the next top point or what is that you are going to deliver? I always not worried about it. I was not taking action for it. And uh, uh, the, that, is, uh, that is where the revelation happened five years back. I was on a meeting room where um, I was asked to give a technical presentation. I haven't prepared to the, not at all prepared for the technical content. Just that I walked in and then I, in an AC room where everything, everyone was shivering outside, weather was good, but I was sweating there. Why I am thinking this now, right now, is that the analytical nature of me is not found that hidden fact of me sowed a seed which is I believed that I am not taking action. This I am a silent guy, I started believing that. Right from the childhood, I started believing that I am the person who will be silent in a group. I will be silent when I am interacting with a new person. And this belief system have evolved to an extent where I start portraying myself as a good character. But what is the impact of this? There's no uh, uh, The impact of this is like uh, in a team where I have a, a conversation where I want to put forth, I hate uh, all the direct communicators. <laughs> so that's, that's a portrayal of uh, um, you know, characters. Uh, like my dad who states on the face like you didn't do this, you didn't do this. But why you want to just when give a supportive nature of how my mom does. Every time I'm I'm not doing something, she tells this is not the time that he's just having his food. Probably we will have this conversation later. She's of supportive kind, but my dad is more of a direct. If you're not doing this, then why not I can have a right conversation right now and blunt in your state of your face. And when he starts seeing these two variants, and when people also started asking me, Mukhi, okay, what you said so far that doesn't make sense. I started pondering what is this said is all about and that's where I started pondering more on this word said. When, uh, uh, when I, a uh, supportive nature guy starts seeing and then demonizing another person as a direct, as a demonized, I joined Toastmasters. Uh, 
to the betterment of things or for not betterment <coughs> I, I, I started facing people like when very first uh, outside the two club experiences like uh, I had a, a person who is of direct nature where every time he communicates and I was in that six months I have learned that I have to start changing my character of presenting myself to be more of initiative where if I am not opening up my mouth then it's it's always that the uh, uh, blame comes on the plate of your yourself and the action is not taken so the styles of said supportive, analytical, initiating and directive <coughs> what I say is that it's, it's just that name which we are giving to the different emotions which we carry forth from our childhood or from our adulthood experience. If you ask me, I can give an example where I was supportive in nature. I was initiating when I wanted to do something and more energetic to enthusiastic to do it. <coughs> I was analytical when I was not very clear, clear of what I have to say. I was looking for words or searching for things, probably that attention was not finding the right word in the mind. I was directive when I wanted to come out of the shelf of me and me to communicate that it's a style which you choose and be of it and communicate what you have in your mind without having the inhibition of what others will think. Then I think that's where uh, we connecting upon to express ourselves and the feedback is always being not looked for when you don't hide anything within you. <coughs>